Hello there, welcome to Jhook and in today's session we are going to look on the Helm templating and how we can use this Helm templating to verify our Helm charts. Before we begin, let's understand what is Helm templating is. As we know, Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes and using Helm we create a YML configurations. These YML configuration files are known as a Kubernetes resources. And after the creation of these Kubernetes resources, we deploy these resources inside our Kubernetes cluster. But but the question comes, what if, if these resources are incorrect or the YML configuration which you have generated using the Helm chart are incorrect. So you will get a deployment failure when you deploy these resources inside your Kubernetes cluster. So in these such scenarios, Helm templating comes in the picture to rescue us. And for that, what Helm templating provides us a way to verify those YML resources before you actually deploy them into your Kubernetes cluster. So that will save your time so that you don't get this deployment or resource deployment failure errors when you deploy these uh, resources inside your Kubernetes cluster. And the command for that is Helm template followed by the actual chart name. All right, let's move ahead and see some demo of the Helm template. All right, let's create a Helm chart and that command which we are gonna use is Helm create hello world. And we are going to use Helm templating to verify this Hello World Helm chart. But before we do that, let's verify the content of this Helm chart by running the tree command on the Helm chart. And here you can see these are the YMLs which has been generated. These are the YML resources or the Kubernetes resources which has been generated by our Helm chart. So we have the service account, service values and charts YML and deployment YML. So as you can see, these are the resources which Helm chart by default created for us. So we are going to verify this using the template command. Okay, let's clear the screen. And the command for that is Helm template hello world and as you can see uh, this is the template which has been generated by the helm template command and i'll reduce the font over here so that you can see the whole yml template which is generated by this command and uh, yeah so here this is the command which i have run and these are the resources or the template resources which has been generated after running this command. Let's start one by one and how many templates which we have generated using this command. So first of all, that is a service account. So this is a service account template and you can follow this pattern over here. So this is our first uh, template for service account. You will get a single output containing all the templates. So this is the first one which we are looking that is service account. The second one is the service and that will start just below the service account template and here you will find the definition of a service type that is cluster IP and the port on which it is running that is 80. And the next one is the deployment. So this is the deployment template which has been generated and here you will find, uh, find all the liveliness, readiness, port and the image which we are running. By default whenever you create a Helm chart uh, without any your custom changes then it will give you an Nginx image. And the final one is the pod definition. So this is the pod definition template. And uh, yeah, it looks quite okay to me because we are not adding anything uh, for our uh, Kubernetes deployment. Let's move forward and install this Helm chart. And the command for that is Helm install. And it should be the release name and it can be anything. So I'm keeping my hello release followed by your exact Helm chart name. So that is hello world and it is going to install your Helm chart. And as you can see, our Helm chart has been installed successfully. And that you can verify using the command also Helm list A. Okay, so here you can see this is my release name which I have kept and this is our revision number one. So that means our template has verified our Helm chart successfully. That means our Helm chart is correct so that we are able to finally deploy our Helm chart successfully. So till now we have only seen the happy case where we have created a Helm chart and we have verified using the template command and finally we have deployed it successfully. But let's go back to our Helm chart. So this is my Helm chart directory, hello world. I'm going into it and let's run the tree command. And these are the YML. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna manipulate some of the YML and put some incorrect configuration and then we are gonna run the Helm template command. Okay. so. So let's switch to the template directory and we are going to update the deployment.yml. Okay. 
so I'm inside the templates and uh, let's check the content okay so now I'm gonna open it into the VI mode and here we can see uh, this is our deployment.yml so I'm gonna delete this uh, kind from here and I'm also gonna put some space so that uh, YML inundation is incorrect over here okay so after that I'm gonna quit and save the configuration okay first of all let's get outside of this directory so I'm gonna one directory up and one more directory up so I should be able to see the hello world from here okay so now I'm gonna run the command helm template hello world and here you can see this is the uh, error which I am getting. So it is saying deployment.yml error, error converting yml to the json and the, it also specifying the line number 2. So the mapping values are not allowed in this context. So this is how Helm template helps you to identify the errors before you actually deploy your application inside your Kubernetes cluster. And since this uh, application was pretty small and this is a very demo Helm chart which I have created so I can easily identify this error. But in the production level applications, the, your YML configuration can be very complex and uh, long. So this Helm template command can help you to identify before you actually deploy your artifacts or the resources inside your Kubernetes cluster. I hope you liked the today's session on Helm templating and how to use it. And if you are interested in the similar content, then please follow my channel where I keep on uploading the weekly content on DevOps, Kubernetes, Helm chart and open source. And also you can find me on a web with the jhook.com where I keep on posting this uh, guides where which I used in my demo session. And if you have any questions regarding or if you face any error during the demo session then also you can mention in the comment and I'll try to get back to you and thank you see you into the next session have a nice day bye bye